All right, you are welcome again. Today, let's talk about log reading. And let's take a look at this beautiful equation. Evaluate log A base 4 is equal to 1 plus log B base 2. We are asked to find the values of A and B. Where we have log A base 4 equal to 1 plus log B base 2. Now, let's go. Let's take this log B base 2 to the other side. We are going to have log A base 4 minus log B base 2 equal to 1. We can see clearly that they have different bases. So let's make it to have a uniform base. That means we are going to apply change of base. Okay? So we are going to change to base 2 let's make everything to be in base 2 okay that means we're going to work on this log a base 4 we're going to change it to base 2 and then i am very sure you know the law of change of base right good the law of change of base simply say when you have something like log a base b i want to change it to another log in base x it's going to give you log a base x all over log b base x all right good now applying that same procedure here in this log a base 4 changing it to base 2 we're going to say that is the same as log a base 2 all over log 4 base 2 then we have minus log b base 2 equal to 1 okay good now this place we have log a base 2 all over log 4 base 2 this 4 we can reduce it to 2 okay now that means we're going to have 2 raised to power 2 is that true yes so here we have log a base 2 all over log 2 raised to power 2 base 2 minus log b base 2 equal to 1 you get it right good these are exponent these two raised to power two the exponent let's take it to the back that means we're going to have two log two base two then when you say log two base two is equal to one one times two two so here we have log a base two all over two minus log b base two equal to one is that true here we have fraction let us clear this fraction so for us to clear this fraction we multiply through by two that means we're going to say two multiplied by log a base two all over two minus two multiplied by log b base two equal to two times one so in the first term the two we cancel the denominator two right so we're going to be left with log a base 2 minus so in the next one we have 2 log b base 2 equal to 2 is that true yes so here we have log a base 2 minus 2 log b base 2 so these two let's take it to the front going to the front it becomes exponent you get it that is going to the front of log to meet b is going to become the exponent of b so that means we're going to have log a base 2 minus log b squared base 2 equal to 2 is that true so here we have log a base 2 minus log b square base 2 so we have the same base and we have the operation minus so the minus we're going to change it to division since we have the same base, that means we're going to have log base 2 a all over b square equal to 2. Is that true? Yes. So here we have 2. These 2 is the same thing as saying 2 multiplied by log 2 base 2. You no, know, log 2 base 2 is the same as saying 1. 1 times 2, 2. You get it right? That means here we have log a all over b square base 2 is equal to 2 log. 2 base 2. Is that true? Yes. Alright, let's go. These two are the back. 
let's pass it again to the front it becomes the exponent of 2 right good that means you have log 2 raised to power 2 base 2 that is in the right hand side okay so here now we have log a all over b squared base 2 equal to log 2 squared base 2 we have the same base let's do away with the base and then 2 squared is 4 so taking away the basis we have a all over b square is equal to 4 all right good cross multiply we have that a is equal to 4 b square when we cross multiply we say that a is equal to 4 b squared that is the value of a now let's go further and find the value of b so we say that a is equal to 4 b squared let's divide both sides by 4 because we are looking for b so dividing both sides by 4 we're going to say that b squared is equal to a all over 4 b squared is equal to a all over 4 we are looking for b not b squared so we take the square root of both sides so taking the square root of both sides b will stand alone the name is we're going to say the square root of a all over 4 so square root of a all over square root of 4 square root of 4 is equal to 2 so therefore b is equal to square root of a all over 2 all right yes so we have evaluated the logarithm and we see that a is equal to 4 b squared and b is equal to square root of a all over 2 all right yes thank you very much for watching stay blessed